Hello everyone, this is Witchy Jacqueline Crochet and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I got tagged and I got tagged on a video that's all about 10 crochet hook questions. So, and I was tagged by Shelly Sassy Stitches. I love her. Please go check out her channel because she is a wonderful friend of mine and she's just she brightens my day up every time I watch her because she's just, I don't know, I, I love her, I love her, I love her, so. And she's very informative on her channel and she does a lot of sharing of all her projects and everything and she gives her opinions about things when it comes to our crochet projects and arts and what yarns and stuff like that. It's She's just really enjoyable to watch, so I recommend her if you haven't been subscribed to her or if you haven't, if you're not I gotta fix my wording here. If you're not subscribed to her yet, please go check her out and tell her I sent you over and yes, yes, she's a beautiful person. All right, so let's get started on these questions. I'm so happy in her description, she wrote all the questions. Very happy she did that. So I can do this very organized. <laughs> Very helpful. Thank you, Shelly, for doing that. Okay. So, let's start with number one. Number one's question, what is your favorite brand of crochet hooks? I'm going to have to say Susan Bates because, yes. I mainly, yeah, Susan Bates. I have these. These are this on, the only kind. No, these aren't the only kind. I do have regular ones without the bamboo handle, but I have a tendency to go for my Susan Bates bamboo handled crochet hooks when I go for projects. But I also use Boyd and other random ones that I have, which we will go over throughout this video and all these questions. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just took a sip of juice and I'm like still trying to swallow it down. All right, I'm a little bit of a mess and a little rusty. It's been a weekend for me. It's been a busy weekend. We'll get into that too at the end of this video. Okay, back to the questions. I'm, I'm rambling and I'm going all over the place. So yes, what is my favorite? brand of crochet hooks and I, I will say it's my Susan Bates that I am currently using which I need to get more different types of Susan Bates because and try them out I also want to try other brands too so I need to do some crochet hook shopping most definitely all right next question number two what is your favorite size hook I would say a five millimeter because that's the one that is usually caught for in all the projects that I choose to do. So, yeah, and I, I'm so used to using that size hook. Now, when I'm getting creative and just making up something all on my own, I'll grab either for a six millimeter sometimes. It's usually a six millimeter that I grab, grab when I'm creating something on my own and not taking a pattern you know from something or somebody else so but usually the pattern or the the style that I end up picking a project that I end up picking it usually always calls for a five millimeter that's usually what my projects usually call for so I always use five so that's I would say that's pretty much my favorite because I'm by now I'm really comfortable using that one so so that's the answer to that one. Number three, do you prefer tapered hooks, like Boyd style, or do you prefer the inline hooks, Susan Bates style? I will say I prefer the Susan Bates style, and the reason why is because the sharpness, I don't know how well you can see the sharpness on that. These are nice and sharp, and when you look at a... Let me grab a Boyd. Let me grab a Boyd out of here. Okay. And when you look at a Boyd compared to a Susan Bates, I'm trying to, I don't know how well you can see those. There's a huge difference 
and this one has a sharper inline to it. Um, and these are tapered. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> tapered. So these, the reason why I like the Susan Bates and the, the inline better is because it hooks on the yarn when I'm pulling it through and it hooks, it hooks through. It hooks really nicely and I crochet really fast when these for me have a tendency the yarn slips off so easily. So this grips on it really good and it doesn't let go and my cat is moving the camera. Peppers. <laughs> Mr. Peppers, you can't move the camera. No, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mr. Peppers, he's not used to the camera being set up in the living room here. What a silly kitty. So, yeah, that's why I like the inline better than the tapered. The tapered has a tendency to, I lose, I lose the yarn when I'm hooking. It just it slips off too easily because I go so fast sometimes. So this, because I crochet fast, this keeps a good grip on them. What are you doing, Mr. Peppers? He's very hyper today. It's really gloomy and rainy and cold today here in New York. And he's just feeling hyper for some reason. Okay, what was that? Okay, that was number three. Number four, how do you grip your hook, pencil or knife grip? I grip my crochet hook, knife grip. I can't do that pencil thing that I see people do. It's awkward. It's awkward. I, I can't, I can't do it. I tried it. I tried it several times because I think it just looks really cool watching people on YouTube crochet like that when I'm watching tutorials and I see them doing that and I'm like, that is really crazy looking, watching them crochet like that. But um, they make it look so easy. It's not easy for me to crochet like that, like a pencil. So no, I, I literally do this, yep, yep, I have my thumb on the little indentation here like that and I, that's how I do it. Okay, <sighs> number five, does your style of crochet dictate how you crochet? Style, I'm trying to think, does your style crochet of crochet dictate how you crochet? Does the style of crochet dictate how you, does your style of crochet dictate how you crochet? Sorry, I had to repeat that so it stuck in my head. Um, it's a good question. I would say yes, and I'm going to say it like this, like if it's talking about if I crochet so tightly or loosely, yes, um, but it all depends on my mood on that day, honestly. If I'm having anxiety and I pick up yarn to calm my anxiety, I have the tendency to stitch tighter. And um, when I'm relaxed, he's playing with his toys. When I'm relaxed <clears throat> and just chill and enjoy my project and watching, watching a movie or whatever on YouTube, and I, my, my crochet is looser. And usually when I'm in a chill mood or whatever, I crochet super fast. When I am have anxiety, I don't crochet fast. I actually crochet slower and I crochet tighter. It's really weird. But yeah, so yes, it does dictate how my projects or it dictates how I crochet both the project. I guess that's how, I don't know. I don't know if I'm answering this question correctly. I have to go back and rewatch your, would rewatch Shelly's questions and see how she answered this. I think, but I think I'm gonna leave that as my answer. I hope that answered the question. But does your style of crochet? Because that is part of my style of crocheting. Is it all depends on my mood? Because I have two styles actually. It's it and it's all about my mood. 
So, yeah, that does answer the question, actually. Okay, next question. <laughs> Number six, do you prefer aerogonomic or regular hooks? Um, I'm going to say aerogonomic. Um, my boys, they have the rubber and these, they have the bamboo handle. I like those because I have the tendency, especially on longer projects that I'm working on, I have the tendency to get that cramp that everyone gets, you know, in my wrist or whatever. This actually calms that cramp that I get in here, right, right in there, right in there. It doesn't put so much tension on my hand there, so I do like having that on the, the stem of the hook. But I don't have a problem using just the regular crochet hooks, too, which I have a bag full of these. I have all sorts. I have all kinds of types. All sorts. And they're all sorts of them. Um, they're mixed with Susan Bates um, generics that don't have a name on them. Because a lot of, some of, the, most of these got handed down to me. And some of them... I purchased and some of them don't have a name on it. like this one it doesn't have a name on it it just has the size so I have no clue who made that and then I got a bunch of these acrylic ones that I never use I have them though my mom gave me these um, they snag yarn acrylic I for me they snag these acrylic hooks they snag and I got a bunch of these acrylic ones but most of the hooks that I have though are like regular ones they're they're boys and I only have like maybe one or two Susan Bates that are like the regular hooks and then I got this plastic one that must have came in a, a crochet kit that was handed down to me but it looks like something that would come in a crochet kit this orange one because it doesn't have anything it doesn't even have an indentation here no no I don't think any no these these uh, acrylic ones they do have that indentation where your thumb goes so but yeah I don't like using the acrylic ones okay did I answer the question what was it um, either or it's not really a big deal but I prefer the aerogomanic style hooks. Next question, number seven. What are your thoughts on lighted hooks? My thoughts on lighted hooks, which I do own, I like them. And the reason why, this is the ones that I got. I got these off of Amazon. And the reason, and then I got the chargeable kind. And it comes with just one handle thing here and it comes with the actual hook tips and this yeah I was gonna say this better be charged and you can see that it's very very bright and it's got different settings it's got two different settings I like using this because I work with darker yarns a lot so and that's when I use it and I already have it ready to go to work on a project that I have planning coming up which I'm going to be doing another video today after this one and doing a little bit of sharing with you guys and future plans of projects that I'm going to be doing but yes this is I'm going to be using this quite a bit pretty soon because I have some black yarn that I'm using for two projects so I want to get started on those early because they're for October. But yeah, I'm going to be using a lot of black yarn and I like using them for darker color yarn, most definitely. So, because I have, obviously, terrible eyes. I can't read small print and I like to see where my crochet hook is going because my lighting is bad here at nighttime. That's when I mostly crochet is at nighttime. So, yeah. So, yes, I do like using the, the lighted hooks. They're very useful. Um, 
So, yep. Okay, next question. Eight. Have you ever used hooks that have interchangeable heads? If so, what are your thoughts on them? Okay, to answer this, these is the only interchangeable, if this is interchangeable, oops, I turned down, interchangeable head hooks that I have ever used. And this has how many, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different crochet heads that are interchangeable. Um, I like it for this device. Um, I've never tried just regular or ever seen regular crochet hooks and never even knew that they made interchangeable, excuse me, um, crochet hooks that weren't lightable, um, that were interchangeable. I didn't even know those existed, so I will have to check in on that and see what's out there a little bit more. I've been living cooped up and not, you know, I'm not, I haven't been doing much searching for new things lately, so I'm I didn't even know those existed if they do exist so but I would say um I think they're pretty cool why not <laughs> um it depends I guess on the maker I would guess like if I was to purchase one I have to be careful and read the reviews and see if they pop off real easy because sometimes these ones if I'm crocheting too hard, they like to pop off really easily. It depends because I, I, I crochet with the hook facing me and if I twist it and if, it, if my yarn or stitch is too tight, it has the tendency to twist it off. You know what I'm saying. So you do have to be careful with your tension with those type of hooks, I would assume. Um, but other than that... I don't have a problem with them. I guess it just I I would I just suggested do research, and that's what I would do if I was to ever purchase any crochet hooks that were interchangeable. So I would have to do some research and look in on that. That's very interesting. I didn't even know those like existed existed other than these guys that were interchangeable. So they could be tricky. You know, it all depends on how how you crochet it would be good for you or not so okay so that's my thoughts on that number nine do you like projects that require a small steel hook or a larger hook either or I'm not I'm not seriously super picky it depends on the project if I'm enjoying that one project that requires that size hook I, I'm, you know, I'm going to enjoy it, you know, so, but, um, yeah, so it goes either way. Um, if it's super, super tiny, like I literally have these lace, like if you're working with literal, literal lace, like as thin as your hair type of yarn, okay, I have hooks that I can crochet my hair with if I wanted to. If I collected my hair, and you know those old fashioned, I don't know if any of you have ever heard, heard of back in the day, you can find these, they used to do it when, when their family member passed away back then and they would save their hair and they would literally crochet beautiful artwork and art pieces and jewelry and whatever out of their hair and they would use these tiny little hooks to do that and I actually own hooks that are that freaking size and whatnot like literally as thin as a freaking pen pen size like you could hurt somebody with that <laughs> like I could really seriously hurt somebody with that it's so tight you can barely I need a magnifying glass to see the actual hook but there's literally a hook on there and I can't see it. Even with these glasses on, I cannot see it. So that, no. I have these and these were handed down to me. These were gifted to me by a friend whose mother passed away. 
and he knew that I appreciated crocheting and everything, so he gave these to me that were hers. So, yeah, I do own these, but if we're talking that kind of size, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. That would be very tedious. But if we're talking like doing like a doily size hook, I can handle a doily size hook. I can handle that size. So, and I've worked with very thin yarn before. So, actually, the skirt that I is taking me centuries to finish making, <laughs> which I haven't even started on again yet, which I said I would. That is a goal of mine, but I don't know if I'm going to reach that goal this year because it's I, every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, I don't even know where to begin on this because I waited so long to start on it. But anyways, that's thin yarn using for that project, and I don't mind it. I actually enjoy that project and everything. It's just where I left off. It's I'm being I'm procrastinating on that one. But not because of the yarn and the size of the hook. It's just because of the project itself. But no, I don't mind working with smaller hooks. But not as small as these guys, if you know what I'm saying. But just your regular normal size small hooks like this size, I don't mind working with that. And this is a zero. I have no idea. It doesn't even say. Let me find a zero. Here's a zero. Like this was for this is for a doily. I don't mind working with that. I can handle that working with a doily. So yeah, I think that answers the question. But I I like working with larger sizes too. I have humongous ones. I have humongous crochet hooks over there. I just didn't grab them. The big plastic ones. I even got a big fat wooden one that my sister got me for Christmas, and I had the super chunky yarn and I made a huge freaking blanket which is folded up and put away for the winter yeah so I, I like using all kinds of different size hooks it doesn't so but these ones no I don't oh, no I don't know I'm scared <laughs> I'm scared of the little like literally crochet hooks that crochet literal strands of hair that size no, don't ask me. Don't ask me to do that. <laughs> okay, number 10. If you were only allowed to use two hooks for the rest of your life, what size and brand would that be? Two sizes. It would be a 5 millimeter and a 6 millimeter. The 5 millimeter would be, where are you, my friend? Would I, where you be, where you be? Hold on. Did I lose you? No. Oh, here we go. Let me look at my sizes here. Okay. For my five millimeter, it would be this hook here, my Susan Bates. That's my five millimeter. And for my six millimeter, it would be my Boyd hook, which is this one. So, yep, I have a bunch of those. I have a kit here, which is kind of dirty. It's got yarn and everything stuck in there. It's got some stitch markers, and my case needs cleaned out. And this thing needs organized. It's kind of messy, and all the hooks are not in their place where they're in. There's, like, loose pieces of yarn in here. So I need to organize this and clean this up. But, obviously, I was... Last time I was using this, I just laid the hooks in there and just folded it up and <laughs> zipped it. Last time I used this, I've been using this one a lot lately on the two projects that I'm currently working on. But, yep. So those would be my two hooks. If it was the end of the world and I had to choose two to take with me, it would be those two. <laughs> and those two sizes. A 5 millimeter and a 6 millimeter. Because those are the most common ones with projects that I have the tendency to choose for. So, that require that size. All right. And I think that answered all the questions. Yes, it did. I want to say thank you again, Shelly, for tagging me into this um, 
10 questions of crochet hooks. It was super fun. I actually enjoyed doing this video. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to Shelly Sassy Stitches or to go over there, check her out, tell her I sent ya and give her a big thumbs up and all kinds of love and subscribe to her channel because she is awesome and she's so much fun. She, she's fun. She's a fun person. So that's all for this video. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel yet or if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. I am all over right now. Oh, can you tell that I haven't recorded in a while? I mean, I am. I, I'm like this on my other channel too, though, so it's just who I am. I'm all over the place. <laughs> it's silliness, I tell you. It's silliness. But this was a lot of fun, so. Um, I do have some. I'm going to make some. I'm going to do more um, videos tonight, not just this one. So I'm going to have some more that I'm going to be uploading on to for you guys to watch so yeah I'm all over the place I haven't had my coffee yet today and it's so gloomy out and I'm, I'm just it's a it's an odd odd day but this is my only free time that I have well no I, I'm I'm free the rest of this week until Wednesday I go back to work Wednesday so I'm off Monday and Tuesday so we got two more days Okay, and I can do some videos, which I there's no excuses for me not to do any videos that has to do with crochet. So I'm taking a break, a short break from my witchy channel, even though I do have plans of doing videos for that one too, but I want to put that on hold because I feel comfortable enough that I caught up on that channel. Um, so yeah, but I have more... I have more videos that I'll be working on. When they're going to get uploaded, I have no clue. So, yeah, I'm not making any guarantees of what time and day that you will. You'll see this today when the day of it being recorded. I'm going to work really hard because it's still early in the day. <clears throat> so, it'll give me plenty of time to, uh, yeah, I'm running out of breath. To upload the video today but I'm gonna have more I'm working on more videos today but I don't know when those other ones are gonna be uploaded if you get what I'm saying I'm sorry I hope that wasn't so confusing I'm literally talking all over the place okay guys <laughs> silliness thank you again Shelly for tagging me this was actually really fun I apologize if it was hard for to listen to me guys with me being all over the place but I really did enjoy sharing you know this hook questionnaire and everything I, I have all kinds of hooks um, let me pull these in a bag real quick and just show you all the hooks that I currently own so I got a bag full of all these they're all mixed and then I got the lighted hooks, and then I got my Boyd set that has the, the you know, the thingy, the, the handle, whatever you want to call that. Yeah. So, those are all my hooks that I currently own. I want to shop for new ones. I want to try different brands. Um, I forget the, the brand hooks that... Um, I'm having a brain fart of what hooks that she uses, that Shelly uses. She said it, or what her favorite was, and I can't remember. I'm having a brain fart. What one she said? Shelly, put in the comments what your hooks are so I can look them up. Because <laughs> I actually want to try those. I've never tried those hooks before. And I can't think of the name of the hook that she was talking about. Go to her channel and find out what hooks she was using. <laughs> that she likes her favorite because I actually want to try them out I've never tried them before I've only tried the Boyd and the Susan Bates and generic ones so yeah anyways that's it that's it for this video I'm done guys I'm done rambling all right I love you guys thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already 
Alrighty. Everyone have a beautiful day. Blessed be and bye for now.